All right, good morning. This is Sunday morning up here in Cali. It's about the 7th of March. You guys hear that? You hear the birds chirp? You see how nice of a sound that is after listening to the snow and wind howl across your backyard for the last three months? It's so nice to hear a bird chirp for a change. Anyway, got a lot done the W4 yesterday. We had a pretty uh, weather cooperative day yesterday, too. So I'll flip this phone around. As always, and you guys can see what I got up to this time. Sprayed a little paint yesterday. I decided to paint that belt pulley up and at least get the inside painted and then painted the outer ring. I'm gonna actually take my sander and I'm gonna sand all the paint from the previous uh, painter that this spray the entire thing. So I want the I want to be able to see the wood grain or this is actually a paper pulley. I want to actually you know clean it up, make it look half decent. So that's another job to add to the list. I was in here yesterday and I pulled the brake drums off. I was checking the brakes out. That before yesterday, got lots of brake liner left. The other side's even got more on it, but uh, I figured it'd probably be easier to paint those if I took them off and I can get in there and clean some other stuff up a lot better with that out of the way. Plus I wanted to see what I had in there anyway in case I had to change the brake bands. They come off pretty simple, so. Uh, well, there's a crow. Anyway, <laughs> I'm clean some of these tools off of here. And I just went and picked some primer up from Canadian Tire, and uh, might actually be able to do some paint and some big paint today. I want to paint this tra transmission top plate, and I want to paint the axles, clean up in behind the brake, the brake and clutch pedals, because that's about where I left off where I was, when I was painting last time. I also want to get this cleaned up here too, on top of the pulley housing where I leaked some gasoline and stripped the paint off. So anyway, I'm gonna go get some. Uh, stuff set up here and get the grinder set up and uh we're gonna go at her now while i'm thinking about this now this little block connects your pitman arm to your steering link which i dropped to get this other brake drum off of here i'm looking around to get another one of these i'm not quite sure what it's called on the either on steiner's site or whoever you got them i think it's a, a steering coupler or a steering block or something like that because it's got two pins but the one pin's real sloppy eh? i don't know if you guys can get that on camera or not but watch getting another one of those or even if someone even makes a bush to go in there to tighten that up or i can even get a new pin i don't even know so maybe someone out there that's tinkered with these w4s a little more than i have they might know a little better than me but there should be something out there I should be able to find something at least maybe even get a new pin that'll help take up some of the slack in that and that'll stop our front wheels from shimming going down the road Okay, well, I ended up pulling the steering box off of it. It wasn't too bad. I just used my long breaker bar with a 22 mil socket. It actually fit on there a lot better. I uh, went ahead and put it aside for now. Started to grind this top plate down. I actually discovered that a flap wheel for big flat surfaces works a lot better than a wire brush. It goes a lot faster. So uh, I'm going to grind inside and grab my drill so I can take my little wire brush. Start cleaning out all the little bolt holes here. Yeah, it's a lot easier with uh, the steering box out of the way, I'd say so. Anyway, I'm going to just keep uh, things getting cleaned up here a little bit. Of course, all the dust went all over my fresh paint up there, so, uh, oh well. I'm going to have to give this thing a good wash and get it done, because there's quite a few spots now that, of course, I cleaned already, and they're dirty again, so. Oh, well. Away she goes. Anyway, I'm going to go grab that drill, and I'll be uh, out here in a minute. All right, after about three hours of grinding and scraping and sanding and brushing and carrying on i finally got a coat of primer on everything here now i did pull that big plug out of there to check my flue levels and i want to see if there's any moisture and there's a little bit of condensation in there but i think just sitting over the winter time will do that anyway so i figured hey you know what once i get the tractor uh back together here then i'll pull that plug out and i'll pull the drain plug there on the bottom i haven't quite got the underside of the tractor cleaned up just yet i'm not going to paint in there yet today what I'm going to do, I still have to do the underside of the tractor from the front to the back anyway, so I'll go underneath there and do the backside all in one shot. So I'm going to grind that little plug out and I'm clean it up too since I'm here, but all underneath the backside and what I still have to do anyway. So I've been waiting for warmer weather, so I can do that anytime now. It's got a quick coat of primer on it for now, but uh, that's a start. I don't know if I'll shoot any red today. I'll at least get it primed up and sealed back up and that way I don't get any surface rust on it, but usually if I prime some i like to paint it too but uh we're getting late in the afternoon but anyway i'm gonna carry on here boys and i'll check in you guys here in a little bit there you, go. you got two coats of primer on it looks looks it looks really good there's a couple spots didn't quite get clean enough i thought i just went and scraped them real quick and i primed it and it looks a-okay so 
Got the Iron Guard 2150 Case IH Red. We'll see what she does. Should look all right. I did go and clean up the underside of that rear end there a little bit, so that way everything's the paint sets up the same way. The paint, man, because when you paint something, if you don't do it all in one shot, then you get grinding dust. Like, look, the front of the truck is all full of grinding dust again. So, before I put the tins back on and all that jazz, I'm going to give it a good clean up. I'll probably take and power wash it and whatnot and let the, let the sun cure the paint up a little bit more before I do that and see what needs to be touched up and what needs uh, a little bit here and there. But anyway, I'm going to spray the red. I'm not sure what my favorite part is. Grinding up the old stuff, priming, or uh, putting the red on. I think probably priming is because you can see how good you got everything cleaned up. Everything's cleaned up really, really nice on this tractor, and I've definitely got a great starting piece for a restoration project. All right, well, I'm going to spray some red, boys, so I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit. Well, what do you guys think? That's the last big chunk of the frame to do. Of course, I still got fenders and all the platform pieces. All that stuff, the draw bar can go back on now. Now I can start putting parts back together. You guys see this? Though? This drives me nuts. Let's see ya. That's nice and freshly painted clean. This was all nicely freshly painted clean. But look at the dust and crap that gets on your tractor as you clean it up. You see, it'll wipe off, of course. It's just Maybe I should have covered it up with something, but... Oh, well. Only so much you can do, I guess, but... Not the end of the world. It can be easily cleaned up. Let me end up putting a seal in here, too, eh? There's a crank. Pulley seal looks like it's steeping a little bit, but... No big deal. Anything can be done. They're not expensive. Steiner has those, so... Anyway, other than grape now, I got my tractor all dirty after I already freshly painted it. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's going to be it for the video today. If you guys like what you see, please comment, rate, and subscribe as always. And thanks again for watching. I know I don't really write too many comments back to you guys, but I do read the comments on the videos. And as always, see you on the next one.